please give a big warm round of applause, Margo. Hi. So I had a giant growth spurt when I was in fourth grade. I grew six inches that year and ended the year at five foot six, which means that I was five feet tall when I began fourth grade, which means that, in short, I was a giant child. Yet I still had all my baby teeth, so when I smiled, I looked like a killer whale. It was, it was a horrible time. I was kind of trapped in this grown-up's body, but I was still a kid. And, and at the same time, I was very close. My best friend was this girl, Amanda, who was very pretty and very tan and normal-sized. And I needed to stick with Amanda so I wouldn't get in the freak category. I went to Amanda's house every day after school because my mom was home and her mom was not paying attention. She was busy running her bar mitzvah centerpiece making business out of the garage. So, at Amanda's house, we had two activities. One, we would practice our dance routine to Shaka Khan's I Feel For You, which was very graphic to say the least. It consisted of a lot of this move. And the other activity was we worked on our demo. We were uh, an aspiring rock group called the Jersey Girls, because we were from New Jersey and girls. And all of our songs had very sexual undertones that we didn't understand. One of the lyrics to one of our songs actually went, I want you inside of me. So there's that. This went on for a year. Every day after school, Shaka Khan, I want you inside of me, then I'd go home. So. Eventually, we got a little bit bored. So by the end of fourth grade, one day, we saw a commercial for a telephone dating service, which was the precursor to internet dating. And Amanda turns to me and says, Margo, you should set up a profile. After all, you're the actress. You're the talent in the group. And I was like, damn straight, I'm the talent in the group. You're Garfunkel, and I'm Simon, OK? And she's like, let's set up the profile right now. So we wrote a script out, which I've memorized for you tonight. and. I have to say this, I've had a lot of wonderful accomplishments and performances in my life. I've even made it on television. But to this day, this performance of my audio profile on the phone dating service at age 12 is the single greatest performance of my entire career. And let me just say, I, learned, I used a very sexy voice that I learned from a very awkward viewing of Octopussy with my parents. And, and this is how my audio profile went. It said, hi. I'm Margo. I'm five foot six and 125 pounds. I have long blonde hair, blue eyes, and freckles. I'm an aspiring recording artist, currently working on my demo. On the weekends, I like to dance. My favorite song is currently Shaka Khan's I Feel For You. So if you feel for me, leave me a message. And then, we went and listened to about a dozen of other profiles of men. We specified the age group, age 25 to 35, because I'm 12 and that makes sense. And <laughs> we start listening. And I remember listening to one guy, Paul's audio profile, very clearly. And it went, hi, my name's Paul. I'm a 30-year-old bank teller who likes to go to the beach on the weekends. I'm five feet tall. So if you think good things come in small packages, leave me a message. <laughs> So I left Paul a message. One, because I really appreciate good copy. But two, <laughs> Paul was a tiny grown-up. And I was a giant child. <laughs> and I just felt like somewhere, somehow, the two of us could come together and meet in the middle and just for one moment we could both feel normal because neither of us ever did. So I left him my profile and the next day after school we go and we check my voicemail on the phone dating service all charged to Amanda's mom's phone bill. And, <laughs> and apparently Paul has an affinity for Shaka Khan too because he left me a message back. So this goes on for weeks after school. I leave a message, he leaves a message back and forth every single day, no one's noticing. So then it comes to a point that Paul leaves me a message. Hi, Marco. I'd love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Perhaps you can leave me your home phone number. So at this point, I turn to Amanda. I say, I got to get out. This, is, this has gone too far. I mean, what, what, I don't even know what the next step is. And then she goes, 
Margo, you should do it. You should give him your home phone number, and I'll tell you why. Because Paul is rich. He's a bank teller, Margo. <laughs> and then she says, and then she says to me, and if it's true love, he will wait. Paul will wait. So I called Paul, wrote a new script, took out my octopusy voice, and left this message. Hi, Paul, it's Margo. Sure, I'd love to talk one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you can call me tomorrow, uh, not between the hours of 8 and 3, because I'll be uh, working. I'm working on my demo, and if you could call uh, before 9, that would be great, because I'd really like to watch Alf. Okay, thank you. And then I gave a tiny 30-year-old bank teller my parents' home phone number so he could call me and date me and God knows what to me, and I left him the number. The next day at school, I'm freaking out. She's freaking out. I go home, and I'm waiting for the call. And the phone rings, and my mother answers it. And she goes, she goes, hello, who's calling? Margo, it's Paul. No questions asked. I mean... <sighs> And I take the phone and I want to say all these things and I pull it into the other room and I want to say I'm misunderstood and I'm tall and I don't feel like a kid anymore and I hope you'll forgive me and, and I, maybe you'll wait a few years. And I take the phone and instead I go, hello? And he goes, hi, Margo, it's Paul. And I go, I'm 12 years old. <laughs> and he goes, what? And I go, I'm 12 years old. He goes, you're 12 years old? I go, I'm 12 years old. He goes, you're 12 years old? I go, I'm 12 years old. It was like a bizarre experiment in the Meisner technique. <laughs> and then he says, well, goodbye then. And he broke up with me in that moment. Which is fine because it was become a, rapidly became a bizarro, you know, to catch a predator where uh, giant 12 year old girls prey on aging, insecure 30 year old bank tellers. So I just want to say I'm really sorry, Paul. Thank you.